Hello YouTubers, this is TD and of course you're watching TD247. I've decided to start doing a segment called Be Aware. These videos will be dedicated to some facts or things that I think people should know outside of those things that I discuss in the regular Bible discussions. And again, I introduce it, you decide what you believe. Now I'm sure there are some churches out there that haven't strayed away from the original teachings of Christ. And hopefully they will never give in to the world and its new age teaching. I have much appreciation and respect for those men of God and their congregations. I think it's important that I just let that be known first. Thank God for the true servants of God. But there are infiltrations that's going on in some churches, which is why I decided to develop this segment called Be Aware, to at least make folks aware of some of these things. That being said, let's talk about yoga in the church. I myself don't embrace yoga as a God-given exercise, much less do I embrace it in the church. So to me, it is one of the infiltrations, and I will go on to tell you why. Now let's make a quick side note. Some of these new age concepts are coming from some of the same people that market the Ouija board as a game. So uh, just something you should be aware of. There are a lot of things that are forbidden in and out the church. Uh, and we're dealing with the inside of the church right now. It's been a long given fact that the devil work in half truths and he will often use part of the truth to make you think you're doing the right thing. When oftentimes, if you really think about it, you're being deceived. So oftentimes Satan likes to introduce the people to things and ideas that might seem to be good or lining up with Christ. And on the surface, it's, it seems that way, but uh, as you dig deeper, you will find there is some level of deception here. Now, yes, yoga has been around for a long time, but until you know its origins, you'll understand, you know, where it's coming from. Let's just define yoga. Yoga refers to traditional physical and mental disciplines originating in India. It also says that it's associated with meditative practices in Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism, which are all religions. Let's go back to the point I was making about Satan introduces people to things and ideas that might seem to be good or line up with Christ on the surface. Um, but when you dig deeper, you find out it's a deception. One of the ways you can tell that it's not lining up with God and I'm gonna go deeper into it in a minute I'm just gonna introduce this fact God Almighty wants us to meditate and that's no lie that's the true part of the deception but the deception is it comes in with the how God wants us to meditate and what I mean by that is Jesus way of meditation for example God Almighty wants us to meditate but he wants us to meditate on his word, the Holy Bible and its teachings. That's what he wants us to meditate on. And there are various references in the Bible uh, which indicate this. One such reference being Psalms 119 verse 99. I have more understanding than all of my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditations. So right there is telling you, you have to meditate on the word to understand. And it is through meditation that understanding comes and wisdom. So let's move further. And like I said, there are many other references to this. But for sake of making this video too long, I'll stop here. Now let's look at meditation in the way of yoga. During meditation in the way of yoga, um, you have certain things that you have to do. Well, we're not going to talk about all of those things. Let's just talk about this one main thing that you must do. And that one main thing is to stop all of the mind activity and draw a blank. 
putting yourself into some so-called cosmic energy. Now people, when you put yourself, your God-given vessel, into a state of being dumbed down to the point where you are blank and your uh, God Almighty given Holy Spirit has been suppressed back or kept back, you are allowing a way for another deity or spirit to enter. And this is called none other than channeling deities. And you're engaging in these activities every time you do yoga, whether you know it or not. Now let's look at the word channeling. The practice of professedly entering a meditative or translite state in order to convey messages from a spiritual guide. People, when you bring those types of practices in the church, you are introducing your vessel to things that Christ has nothing to do with. This is why, to me, yoga is just another infiltration of the church. In conclusion, these new age concepts that are being introduced to some churches are designed to collapse the original teachings of Christ and many churches today are unwittingly becoming the disciples of the gods of the new age. Remember folks, I introduce it, you decide. Bye-bye.